Hey guys, are you looking to get consistent traffic to your website? Do you know the best way to get that? Well, it's to get found on Google for free because everyone searches for everything on Google all day and every day. Now the way that I've been able to do this is by writing articles that are answering people's questions that are searching for things on Google. And because I have a number of my articles that are showing up in the search results on Google, I'm constantly getting traffic to my website. And because I'm constantly getting traffic to my website, I'm constantly making money through ads and affiliate marketing. So I highly recommend if you guys don't know about affiliate marketing to check out my recent video I just did on how to make money through affiliate marketing for beginners. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to find out what people are actually searching for so you can answer their questions through articles and then get found on Google and then get traffic to your website. Now there are a number of things that it takes to actually rank on Google, but the first thing you need to do is find out what people are searching for. For example, if I were to search for how to get traffic to my website on Google, that is known as a keyword. Better yet, a long tail keyword. Now long tail keywords are three words or more and that is what you really want to search for when you're searching for different questions that people are asking for. The more specific they are, the better and the less competitive they are as well. Now I'm going to talk about more about that in this video. I'm currently creating a brand new website that I'm hoping to sell later on for a nice amount of money. But in order to do that, I need to get a consistent flow of traffic to this website. So I'm doing keyword research right now to figure out what keywords that I can find or what questions that I can find out that people are asking so I can answer them through my articles. Now the tools that I'm going to be working with today, it's a tool called keyword.io. I'm going to be working with a tool called keywords everywhere, Moz and KW finder. I highly suggest using these tools when you are doing keyword research because it really will help you identify what is a good keyword that you can write that you have the ability to actually rank for on Google. So let's go ahead and get started on the computer. So the first tool we're going to use is a keyword tool called keyword.io and I love this tool because it helps me find out ideas that people are already searching for in Google. So with this new website I'm working on, the idea is to help entrepreneurs get started with their business. So I'm going to look up start a hair salon. This is one of the things that I want to help people figure out how they can get started doing. So I'm going to put it in here just to find out what are some question, other questions that people are searching for when it comes to starting a hair salon. Now you're going to get a pop up like this, but you do not have to sign up. All you have to do is scroll down to the very bottom and go to no things. I want to continue without signing in and I don't want to download my keywords. So I'm going to scroll down and kind of see what are people searching for when it with the start a hair salon search query. So I'm going to scroll down. So it's just, I'm getting some ideas here about what people are searching for. So average cost to start a hair salon. That's a good one. Equipment needed to start a hair salon. That's a good one. So I'm going to search this in Google right now to see what's coming up in the search results for this question right here. So I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to Google it and I'm going to copy and paste. Now, if you download keywords everywhere, it will have this pop up for any time that you search something in Google, this will pop up. So I really pay attention to volume and then I pay attention to this new tool they have right here that shows you the trend. So just to see how many people are searching for this per month. So just so you guys know, this 10 right here means that 10 people search for this search term per month. Now this is very low. I, I don't want to waste my time writing an article when it's only 10 people searching for this per month. So I'm going to look down here, scroll down a little bit further. Now keywords everywhere, they have this related keywords over here. If you scroll down, they'll show me other related keywords that people are searching for. So I see that salon equipment is 18,000, which is a lot, but I'm trying to find three words or more. Like I said earlier, I want to look for the long tail keywords because they're more specific. So instead of just salon equipment, hair salon equipment is a little bit more specific. So let's go ahead and click on that. 2,900 people search for this per month. Now I do want to tell you guys that these tools are not as accurate as you may think. Google has its own algorithm and everyone is trying to figure it out, but they just can't because they're so complicated. But the reason I use these tools is just to get a sense if people are actually searching for these terms per month. And if you look at these trend up here, you can see that more people are searching for this term per month. So that's a good guide for me to really figure out if people are actually searching for this term. I don't want to write about something that no one is searching for. So I'm going to go and scroll down to see what's coming up in the search results. But before I do that, I want you guys to download this Moz Chrome bar. So I'm going to go to a new tab here. 
and I'm gonna sign into Moz and I want you guys to create an account so you can get what I have to use this tool. I really like this tool, especially for beginners. I think it's really important for you to understand your competition. So I'm gonna log in and then I'm gonna go back to my search query, my tab here, and then I'm gonna refresh it and I'm gonna scroll down. And as you can see here, the page authority, this the PA stands for page authority and the DA stands for domain authority. And what this means right here is that the domain authority for this website is 22. Now this is really low. So this is telling me that this is just a brand new website or a site that doesn't have a lot of authority in Google's eyes. Now, once again, Moz is just another keyword research tool that I use, but they are not Google. These tools just give me a sense of what Google is probably thinking when they are ranking different things in the search results. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, oh, this DA is 22. This is a fairly new site and I am probably right about this. I can probably outrank this because this is such a low domain authority. Just so you guys know, this goes from one to 100. So the higher the domain authority, the harder it's going to be because it looks like with Google's new algorithm that they are favoring the websites that have a higher domain authority. So if it's a website like Forbes or Business Insider, I am not trying to go against those because they are going to outrank me, especially having a brand new website. They are always going to be able to have more authority than I am just starting out. So I highly recommend to assess your competition and try and find keywords that have a low competition. So just looking at these domain authorities right here, these are very low. So this is just telling me that I have a very good chance if I wanted to write an article about hair salon equipment that I probably would rank for this. So this is probably a keyword that I definitely want to write about. And with a search volume of 2,900, and this will also be a great opportunity for affiliate marketing because if I had hair salon equipment that I had referral programs for, and once again, you should definitely check out my affiliate marketing video to understand about how this all works. But if I had affiliate products that I'm referring to people and I can rank high up in the search results for this, I would do very well because I could probably outrank all of these websites. So the first thing I would do is look at the competition to see if this is something that I probably could rank for and seeing that these sites have a very low domain authority, I probably could. The next thing I would do is look at the title. Is this answering my question? So this says hair salon equipment. So I'm gonna look at the article too to see if I could do a better job about writing about hair salon equipment. So I can see here, just scrolling down, this has very little content on it. So this gives me another idea that I could probably outrank them by just writing more uh, content in this article. This is all that they have right here about hair salon equipment. So if I did a very in-depth article about hair salon equipment and included images like they did, I probably will be ranking number one for this. So this is definitely a keyword that I want to write about. So I have a spreadsheet that I like to do every time I'm doing keyword research so I can document this stuff. So I'm going to show you how that looks right here. Okay, so you can use an Excel spreadsheet or I like to use the Google spreadsheet here. And I would simply put it in my keyword here and then the volume and then the keyword difficulty. Now I'm going to show you shortly how to find this. So let's go right here and put in my keyword. And then to find out the keyword difficulty, I'm going to go to Moz. Now with Moz, we're going to go down to free SEO tools, and then we're going to go down to more SEO tools once you sign in or create an account. And then we want to scroll down to Keyword Explorer. Now I believe you get 12 free searches per month. And or I'm actually, I'm sorry, it's 10. So you only get 10 and I've already used some of mine. So I'm going to put our keyword right here, hair salon equipment, and I'm going to press analyze because I want to see how difficult it is to rank on the first page of Google for this. Now they're saying it's 33 and you can see here the monthly volume here says 11 to 50 which is drastically different than what the keywords everywhere tool is telling me. So just by this it's important to note that you can't just trust one of these tools because they're completely different. But I probably would still write about this only because it's something that I probably could add value to and I know that the competition is so weak that I could easily outrank them. So I probably would still write an article about this, but I'm gonna record that this keyword difficulty is 33. And if you just scroll down here, they also show you some other keyword suggestions that you could do. And there's nothing that I would wanna do with a nice monthly search volume, so I'm not gonna add any of these to my list. But if it was some other ones that looked really good, I would add that.
and it just shows you right now what's showing up in Google and it shows you their DA and the, then the page authority. And you can see that these are pretty low. So I'm going to go ahead and put 33 in here, but I'm also going to show you a, another tool I use KW finder. And I love, love, love this tool right here. So I'm going to show you KW finder. Now, if you sign up, you can sign up for their 10 day trial. And I'm going to put the link in the description below. It will be a referral link that I have because I highly recommend this because I love it so much. I've been able to find out so many other article ideas just by using it. Let me show you why. Let me go ahead and sign in. I did purchase their plan and I think it's $49 for the year, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, I'm gonna put the keyword in here and then go to find keywords. So as you can see, this is another drastic search volume here. They're saying it's 3,200 search volume and Ma said it was, I think it was like 10 to 50 or 11 to 50. So how drastic this is. And then the keywords everywhere tool said it was 2,900. So you can see these tools are completely different. They have all their different algorithms to how they're trying to figure out Google and no one can figure out Google. But like I said, I use these tools just to give me a sense to say that people are actually searching for this search term. So that gives me some confidence that if I write an article on this, there will be people who are looking for this answer. So I see that this has 3,200 and then the keyword difficulty is 31, 31. So that's pretty similar to what Ma said, but the volume search volume is drastically different. But what I like so much about this tool is that it gives me so many ideas of other things that I could write about. I really like to just filter by keyword difficulty to first find out what are some real easy keywords that I could do and I could see the search volume right here. So I'm just, just scrolling down here. Now what I'm really looking forward to is I want to see the search volume too because I want to write about things that have a nice search volume so I can start getting a nice amount of traffic to my website. You guys know that these colors, green is easy, orange is like medium, and then red is pretty hard. So I really don't try and write for anything that's hard because I know that with a new site like mine, it will be hard to rank for. So I like to just scroll down to what is easy i'm going to get all the keywords that are related that have a nice search volume that i could write another article about so barbershop equipment has a nice search volume of 1800 and you can see that it's 20 is the keyword difficulty so it's going to be pretty easy to rank for so i'm going to stop right here and just start copying all these keywords that i want to write about and then i'm going to add them to my spreadsheet so i'm going to continue this spreadsheet right here and write on all the keywords that i think i can rank write articles about and rank for and then the search volume here. And then I'm also gonna put the keyword difficulty. Now the way that I typically write my articles is that I'm gonna look at the easiest one with the nice search volume and I'm gonna to decide to write on that one first. So this is just how the process that I go through when I'm looking for keywords, trying to find a keyword that I could actually rank for. Now I'm gonna give you a quick example on probably something that I would not write about. Let's say small business marketing ideas. Now let's see right here what comes up in the search results. So you can see that this domain right here, WordStream has a nice domain authority of 81. So I probably, it's gonna be a little tough to try and write an article that will actually ring on the first page for this because I'm just looking at my competition. You see how these numbers, 80, 65. But one thing I do say that gives me room for opportunity and this one is only 37, so that's not bad. So if Google does not show a search result that has the exact wording in this, so for example right here, low mar budget marketing ideas for small business. This is good, but it doesn't give me exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for small business marketing ideas. So I see that this is gonna be a little difficult to write about. So, and I also see that the trend is going down. So I really probably wanna work on something else. And I'm gonna always look at my related keywords to see what is a nice related keyword that has a nice search volume with a trend going up. And this is just how I do my research and doing the marketing tips for small business. And, I'm just, and it goes on and on and on. So I recommend just taking a day or two to doing keyword research, filling up your spreadsheet so you can be confident about what you're gonna write about and making sure that these are things that you can actually rank on for Google. Now another really easy way that I highly recommend is to just find out what keywords your competitors are ranking for. I do this all the time and it's been really the guide that I use when I'm trying to figure out what keywords that I can actually write for and rank for. But the way to do that is through a tool called Ahrefs. And this tool is kind of expensive. It is $100 per month. But what I recommend is to invest $100 in that tool. 
get all the research that you can for that one month for on your competitors and have content ideas that can last you for months or even a year. And I've done that so I can get my $100 worth. Now I did a video on how to find out what keywords your competitors are ranking for using Ahrefs. So you wanna make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for when I release that video. These are the things that you wanna keep in mind when you are doing keyword research. The search volume. You wanna make sure that people are actually searching for this term so you know that when you answer this question, people will find your articles. The next thing is check the search results. Make sure that Google is showing you the results that are answering your question exactly. And if they're not, that shows you a room for opportunity where you can write an article that will answer directly to that question that that person is asked. The next thing is to check the search results and see your competition and decide whether or not this is something that you can write a better article about that will allow you to rank for it. And then you want to see how competitive that keyword is so you can use tools like Moz or KW Finder just like I do. And once they pass all those tests, then you can add them to your spreadsheet and move on. And then you can start to execute by writing your articles. Now you wanna write your articles in a very specific way so they can start showing up in the search results. So I highly recommend to check out my video I did on how to write your articles to rank on Google. That's the next thing that you need to do. So I hope this video gave you some insight on how to do keyword research, the tools you need, and if you have any questions, I'd love it if you let me know in the comment section below and subscribe for more information and more updates on how to build a successful blog.